Where the time now is 4.43. Let's talk about cold calls, one of these scourges of modern society, aren't they? Um, if you get a call from an unknown number that asks, can you hear me? Well, then you need to hang up. It's actually a telephone scam that takes your answer, which is usually yes, isn't it, and edits it to make sh- edits it to make it sound like you've authorised a major purchase. Um, at the moment, it's just in the US, but companies are warning that it could arrive here soon. Uh, Chris Hicks is from the company CPR Call Blocker. Good evening, Chris. Good evening. This sounds terrifying because you know if uh, the first thing you hear down the line is "Can you hear me?", then your instinct is obviously to say yes. Yes, absolutely. Um, What's basically happened is our customer base in the United States started reporting this to us about a month ago. Basically what happens is is that a call comes in, uh, it asks the question, can you hear me? And the idea is that it will take your kind of voice print identification and then potentially use that against you, whether it's to confirm some kind of purchase or as part of a kind of a larger uh, identity theft campaign, really. So it's, um, it's very critical. So how many people have been conned by this trick then? It's difficult to actually ascertain uh, exact numbers right now. We've had more than 100 of our own customers based in the United States talk about this to us. Um, Like I said, in terms of the way this has been reported, I think it's been a little bit confused in terms of actually it represents a part of a larger identity theft campaign. So with, of course, the move towards voice print ID taking up, certainly with HSBC, of course, they're talking about my voice as my password. Uh, it seems that our voices now are becoming a potential way to kind of undermine and, uh, and really take over our lives. Mm. So people um, who might be worried by this, what, what should they do? Well, certainly, if you receive a call like this, I mean, I would recommend reporting it uh, firstly to the ICO, also to sign up to the TPS, which should reduce about 30% of uh, all unwanted calls, but also to take a look at call blocking technology, whether it's for landline or uh, mobile phones. But ultimately, I would recommend just don't answer yes. Uh, Generally speaking, are are we winning the war on all of these unsolicited calls that we keep getting? Um, I wouldn't say really, no, not at all. It continues to be uh, a very uh, difficult issue, uh, especially towards vulnerable individuals in society. Um, Certainly we find much of our base to be around the 60 plus bracket. They tend to be targeted uh, through their landlines for the most part. So really uh, it continues to be a a very terrible issue for a lot of people and many people have lost entire livelihoods from from scam calls. I guess one of the problems is that that not all of them are bad. If your mobile phone provider, for instance, calls you out of the blue, it can be because they're offering offering you a deal which is going to save you money. Yeah, that, that's what makes it difficult, really, because we can't say that, you know, all calls uh, in a marketing sphere are illegitimate. It's just, obviously, the, these types of bad guys that really have to be uh, taken to, to account. Now, of course, the, a few more laws have been passed, which has led to a lot larger fines for these types of companies. And, of course, now call blocking technology is widely available. However, there's so much more we could do. And, um, obviously, raising awareness about these kinds of scams is, uh, is one of those things. Okay, good to talk to you. Thank you very much. That's Chris Hicks from the company CPR Call Blocker.